Hello everyone and welcome to another Fallout 4 Tips and Tricks video! So, this one I'm narrating live. Usually I have it scripted, so pardon if I'm not as eloquent as I seem to be in some of my other videos. <laughs> anyway, this is just gonna be a quickie, theoretically, because when I'm not on a script I kind of tend to ramble. I'll try to stick to the point. So, this is going to be a video on how to show you how to stretch a wire from one location in your settlement to another that is actually impossible to do with the, with the basic mechanics of the game. Like, for instance, you can stretch a wire from one pile onto another, like that, but it won't let you stretch a wire from a, this pile on to, let's say, that one way up on the roof there. That's too far, the game won't let you. The wire will be red and you won't be able to attack. Wah! <laughs> Sorry, okay. Never mind him, he's he's nice. Okay, anyway. So I just discovered this this recently. Um, and it was like a eureka moment for me. I, I literally heard the Hallelujah cho Chorus in my head. I mean, seriously. I'm probably not the first person to have discovered this, but... <sighs> yeah, it was awesome when I did, so <laughs> I'm going to show you. So anyway, this is the traditional way of doing it. You have a power source, like this generator. You can stretch wires across two other pylons. You can't stretch them very- Dance, you're interrupting my video. <sighs> anyway, you can't stretch them very far. Like, I wouldn't be able to get that one stretch all the way across to this one without these pylons in the middle uh, helping it along. Um, for that instance, we had earlier. no, don't you dare ask to talk about that conversation dance. I already talked to you about that. Urgh. Anyway, so for instance, I have a pylon right here. It's connected to a generator down there, so it's powered. So let's go into the workshop menu <clears throat> and so so if I attach a wire to this pylon let's run over to this house and go up here this is just an example to show you and I cannot attach it to this pylon it won't let me it's too far away all right but now in real life you totally could stretch a wire that far that's why I like this glitch because it lets you do stuff you can do in real life. I will show you. All right, let's go back over to this house. And so this only works with pylon. This will work as long as your starting pylon is attached to a power source. So I've got the wire glitched through the, the ceiling here anyway. So what you're gonna wanna do now, attach your pylon, it can be any kind of pylon, it doesn't matter, to a power source. Then position yourself so that you are, so that you can highlight the wire with the pylon behind it. So that your little dot thingy there in the middle of the screen is actually over the pylon, but not highlighting the pylon. So you don't want it to be doing this, you want it to be doing this, highlighting the wire like that. So then push, um, well on the PS4 it's the triangle, I believe on the Xbox it is Y, and I'm not sure what it is on the PC, so, um, so, <laughs> yeah you guys, whatever whatever button it is that you use to attach wires, it's that wire, that's that button, you want to push that. And you'll hear the sound of the wire uh, sparking. If you don't hear it, then it didn't work, so try it again. So then, go to the um, other conduit that you want to attach the wire to. And um, sometimes you'll see this random spark in the middle of the air somewhere when that happens. That just lets you know that it's working. That'll go away when you attach the wire. Now watch! So, let's see, it says I can attach wire. So you push triangle, and boom! Look at that! Just look at that! Now, if you want to know, does this actually power something, let's uh, put a turret here. So this is a laser turret. 
It requires two power to operate. You can, as you can see, it's not. So then, this is the traditional way of doing it. Boom. Whoops. There. So, I just fell off the building. <laughs> anyway, so as you can see, it worked. Now, if you want to see that there is absolutely no limit to how far you can stretch this wire within your settlement, I've actually got a turret inside a house down here, all the way down the street. Not all the way down the street, but pretty far. I mean, see, there is no way you would be able to stretch a wire that far normally. So there is my turret. It's not powered. Let's go back. Use up all of my action points to get there. Whew. And up we go. Woo. Okay. So, we'll do it again. Make sure the wire is highlighted with the conduit behind your little cursor thingy, whatever it's called. And I got the wire. You hear that little sparky sound? I don't know if you can hear it in the video. It makes a sparking sound like it does when you attach wires normally. Anyway, so we'll run down here past the death claw. Run, run, run. So, you know, see, you can't actually see the wire. You're not actually holding the wire like you are in the normal way of doing it, but you do have it. So then, attach wire. Look at that. It's coming through the ground because it it's draping so far through your settlement, through the settlement here. It's actually curving down through the uh, through the ground here. See it? <laughs> It's going down through the ground and all the way over there and back up to the turret. So you could have a generator, like, a generator room on one side of your uh, settlement, and then you could have a row of turrets on the wall way over by the gate, and you could just stretch a single wire all the way over there without having to put conduit, 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 conduit all the way across. I just think that is so awesome. Anyway, now you can also use this as a way to glitch wires through walls without using the rug glitch. So let's say I wanted to put a turret, or not a turret, let's see, how about a, a terminal inside my house right here. But I don't want to have a rug and a tr and a thingy on the on the uh, floor here, like you do with the regular rug glitch that I have shown you in a previous video. I I covered that one. So what you can do then is I have this house is wired already. So this this wire is attached to the the generator way over there via these conduits so get it like this make sure that co the conduits behind the thing again like that and attach the wire then I can come down and attach it to the terminal it just goes straight through the the wall through the ceiling and then through the wall and as you can see, the terminal is actually active now. Uh, I can actually get on it if I wanted to. So yeah, it's just going straight down through there. So yeah, anyway, just another way to do the, the wire glitch. But I think the coolest part <laughs> is stretching wires across infinite spaces. That's so nice. It will save you a lot of copper resources um, in that you don't have to build so many conduits. So cool. Anyway, that was just a quick video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know how you liked it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.